myself dr shushan kirtanya working as an assistant professor in the department of mechanical engineering today i am going to present an advanced topic on carbon nanotube reinforced composite which is known as the metal for the 21st century now before discussing about the carbon nanotube reinforced composite it is required to understand what is composite the composite is a material which is formed by mixing more than two material such as plywood is a composite material composite material is three type particulate composite material flake composite material and fiber reinforced composite material in fiber reinforced composite material the fiber are the reinforcing material and matrix material may be polymer may be metal may be ceramics in composite material though more than two material mix and form a new material but they kept their inherent property unchanged now we are going to discuss about the carbon nanotube reinforced composite now the question is carbon nanotube why carbon nanotube the composite in fiber reinforced composite the fibers are graphite fiber or boron fiber or carbon fiber so here if we can replace this conventional fibers by carbon nanotube this is the question can we replace we can replace this conventional fiber by carbon nanotube or not that will discuss then the another question is what is the nano carbon nanotube what is the nano so we are going for a background about the nanotube so there are plenty of room at the bottom a lecture delivered by the america physicist fenman at the california institute of technology in december 1959 and which is considered as a seminal event in the history of nanotechnology professor tanoguchi uh, of the tokyo university first defined the term nanotechnology in 1974 and carbon nanotube was discovered by izima in 1990 on and after that there was a revolution started in research on nanotechnology in different direction though the research started on carbon or nanotechnology in 1991 but concept is delivered by fenman in 1959 now we question why cnt why you want to replace the existing carbon fiber by cnt the reasons if you see the properties of the cnt the young modulus of cnt is 1 tra pascal tensile strength is 200 giga pascal maximum machine component or are made of by steel what is the young modulus of steel 210 giga pascal but young modulus of carbon nanotube is 1 tra pascal and tensile strength of carbon nanotube is 200 giga pascal and what is the tensile strength of steel is 250 mega pascal so this value is indicate how much strength of cnt the other properties of higher specific surface area of carbon nanotube electric current carrying capacity 1000 time higher than the copper wire and thermally stable up to 2800 degree centigrade in vacuum so this property are of cnt are believed to be ideal for reinforcing material and in future it could be used as 
lightweight structural composite now what are the types of carbon nanotube carbon nanotubes is two types singular carbon nanotube or multiple carbon nanotube the first figure figure on a it is showing a single or carbon nanotube where there is only one layer but in figure on b here there is a multiple carbon nanotube and if you see the figure on b there is a total five layer so this is a multiple or carbon nanotube with five layer now advantages and application of cnt reinforced composite the advantages of cnt reinforced composite are high stiffness and strength high interfacial shear strength high thermal and electrical conductivity lightweight so this is one of the important uh, properties the cnt reinforced composite the the density of the iron is 7.8 gram per centimeter cube but what is the density of carbon nanotube is 1.6 gram per centimeter cube so for aerospace application we need lightweight high but high strength so carbon nanotube reinforced composite can achieve those property because it is very high strength as well as lightweight the next part is coefficient of thermal expansion so this is also one of the important properties of cnt reinforced composite why if there is a change in temperature then there is a possibility of expansion and reduction of the component and in aerospace you know it may go from minus some magnitude of temperature to plus some amount of temperature so there is a huge variation of temperature so what will happen that due to change in temperature it will expand it will contract so there is some possibility of failure of the component so if it is low then the possibility also very less failure of the possibility is very less and this carbon carbon nanotube reinforced composite also having this property improve wear resistance lower friction coefficient high thermal stability enhance fracture toughness and flexural strength now, this is one of the recent review paper the author is kaushar etel and they have shown that carbon nanotube polymer and carbon nanotube epoxy composite can be applied from our household to aerospace advantages and application of carbon nanotube here yeah, application of carbon nanotube you are going for specific that is application of cnt epoxy composite ultra lightweight space structure thermal optical coating tennis racket baseball bat bicycle frame bullet proof vest wind plate composite gear electronics application such as sensor and actuator application of cnt metal matrix composite automobile the parts are brake shoe cylinder liner piston ring gears heat sink lightweight bicycle tennis badminton racket travelogical application for higher wear resistance and lower coefficient of friction application of cnt ceramic matrix composite are thermal barrier coating on turbine plate lightweight armor made of carbon boron carbide nano composite biomedical engineering such as carbon nanotube hydroxide nano composite is used for heart tissue replacement this is one of the uh, best research topic in the present time bearing valve and other wire resistance uh, machine part aero engine so what we have seen that cnt reinforced composite it may be polymer it may be metal it may be ceramic matrix composite can be applied each and every field now thermoelastic properties we discuss about the what is the effect of the cn coefficient uh, of thermal expansion so this is one of the recent paper published in 
18. They have shown the variation. This curve is shown the variation of axial coefficient of thermal expansion with volume fraction. And at volume fraction nearly 10 percent, it is shown that axial coefficient thermal expansion is nearly zero, which indicate that just on adding only 10 percent carbon nanotubes in epoxy, we can accept our desired property that is coefficient of thermal expansion nearly zero, which indicate if there is a change in temperature but the possibility is very less or the change in length is negligible. Now the question is we have discussed there is a lot of application advantages of shaded reinforced computers. Now the question is is there any challenges? Yes. There are some challenges such as high cost of CNT. Though day by day the cost of CNT is reducing, the fabrication of CNT reinforced composite is also very difficult because we need aligned CNT but maximum case we will find the random orientation of the CNT and if the length is very high there is some possibility of CNT it will curl. So, if it is in curl, curling, then it will break easily. So, we need some improved technique for fabrication. Last is dispersion of CNT in the matrix material uniformity. If it is not uniform, so for this particular place, it may be failure. So, uniformity is also one of the question. So, at last, I, I will say that in future carbon nanotube composite may be used for our household application to aerospace application. This is some of the important references which I have referred in my presentation and thank you for your attention.